Hello, I'm Dr. Anthony Rizzi, Director of the Institute for Advanced Physics. Today on Faith Matters, we're discussing St. Thomas Aquinas. Now, St. Thomas Aquinas is the philosopher who really brought Aristotle into the Catholic tradition and put that firm foundation, clarified Aristotle, perfected Aristotle, put the foundation necessary for the sciences in place. I'm a physicist who has studied Einstein's theory intensively, having actually contributed to advancing that theory, and also worked in experimental relativity, looking for gravity waves for the California Institute of Technology. Have lots of experience in physics and can tell you that what I like to say is us physicists are Thomists at heart, but we need to infuse Thomism into the wider culture and more completely and explicitly into the minds of physicists and scientists. And the importance of this is often forgotten, so I like to remind us of St. Thomas's role as the common doctor of the church. And it's often not known, but every pope since the death of St. Thomas has recommended St. Thomas to the faithful. This is our call, clarion call to put St. Thomas the mantle of St. Thomas on and learn what we can about those very simple things that are the beginning points of science. For example, <clears throat> Pope Leo XIII's encyclical, Attorney Patris says, among the scholastic doctors, the chief and master of all towers, Thomas Aquinas, who as St. Cachetan observes, because he most venerated the ancient doctors of the church, in a certain way seems to have inherited the intellect of them all. Quite a statement to be able to say that he inherited the intellect of all the church fathers. No dumb men, mind you them. So we're dealing with a first rank genius who bears studying. Another great promoter of St. Thomas, St. Pius X, Pope St. Pius X, says this very prophetic remark. If we once discard the principles of St. Thomas, we will you lose both the human science and the divine science and won't even understand the meanings of the words in which our dogmas are formulated. Quite a clarion call that. Our own Pope, John Paul II, in his Fidus at Ratio, talks about the implicit philosophy by which he means that of St. Thomas Aquinas. We need to get back to the common doctor, study him, learn him, promote him so that we may get the science before science on firm ground, thereby giving science the ground that it needs to keep the sanity and promote the culture of life. This has been Faith Matters. Thank you for listening.